Hello everybody and welcome to the fourth and final part of the five star read five star uh, book series. Um, other than that, let's get into them. <clears throat> the first book I want to talk to you guys about is the only book that I book series that I really like and that is Breakdance. Um, I do have the first one. Which is um book and pride and okay okay go right here. This is a Barnes and Noble one. This is a, I bought this from my uh, from my, uh library book sale. And um <clears throat> I do love this series. I only love this this series of the British Lands and I read I mean I read all all six of them. From the first one to the second, third, fourth, fifth, you know what I mean. And um, I really loved it, you know. And um, I, I, it was, it was like, it was like they, it was like a, like a, like um, the Lion King, but um, without the singing and stuff like that. But um, it's it's not like the Lion King, but there is a lion that wanted to avenge his avenge his um his fellow mate. I think, um, well, to avenge his father actually, and that's my his uh his father actually, and um, yeah, and I mean this I mean I mean this this series just got me hooked and I just I just loved it and I and I hope to read maybe the warrior series or the secret series or the survivor series um I, but the warrior series are more um they the, the warrior series are much have more books than the brave lands, than the um, the seekers and the survivor series, and um, they they have a they have a lot of books over there anyways. But brave lands is is the best to be honest, and I do give it five star reads plus series. The second book I want to talk to you guys is part of a trilogy. One of the best trilogies ever, and that is the Lord of the Rings. I seen the movies first before actually physically reading the books, and uh, the third book of the Lord of the Rings is um, the Return the Return of the King, which is my but it's still my favorite, which it is. So is the movie. So so is the movie. Yeah, I like all the movies, especially the Hobbit movies. And um, but the but um, there are uh like a like there is one character that I like, and that is Legolas. And don't get me wrong, he is a he he's a master strategist. Of being of being an elf and stuff like that to his elf king, and um, I really, I just, I just, I mean, I just love the love the movies. I watched the movies before reading the books again, saying, and um, it was they were they were really. And they were really good. They were really good, especially the books as well. So that's the Lord of the Rings for you. The second uh, book is a one book of seven volumes, and that is Narnia. Um, I if I remember correctly. I seen the movies before before reading the books 
again. I did read like there's um I did read let's see I did read the magician's nephew which is one of my favorites. Magician's the magician's nephew is my favorite. Then you got the line of which one was over which I read. The horse and his bo and his boy I read. The Caspian read the Warriors with Don Treasure, I read. Uh, the Silver Chair. I think I read that one. Don't call me on that. And the last battle, which I really read. But I like the Magician's Nephew because, because it it shows the origins of how Narnia became, how Aslan, you know, and um, the White Witch. Yeah, you know I mean, like, I like it. Just it just shows, like, like the birth of Narnia. And some people read the book with the books from the Lion and the Wardrobe. No, you gotta read the Magician's Nephew to understand its origins. Not the Lion and Witch, not the Lion and the Wardrobe. That's the second book. <laughs> I mean, some people will do that, and, and to be honest, I, I sometimes do that as well. But, um, my freaking love and treasure, Narnia, it, it, has, it, has a, it has a special place to me. And I do love the spine. Uh, you can see Aslan right there. You can see the Narnia right there, which is kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, that's, um, Oh, yeah, see that? And the last book of this uh, video I'll be talking about is The Throne of Glass. I freaking fell in love with The Throne of Glass series from the first book, which is The Throne of Glass. I did read The Assassin's Play, which is in the Bella Ross of a prequel before she was cast. Before she was. You know, captured and stuff like that. And, um, and, um, I freaking love, uh, sorry, uh, what's her name? I freaking love this, um, strong female character because she is very badass, to be honest. And I've been hearing, like, some other. Um, booktubers will say that, that she's bad and stuff like that, which, which she is, and, um, I really like, I really love her, um, I really love her, and she's, um, she's kind of, she, she's a cool, um, um, sword, so wheels man, and, uh, sword woman, and she's, um, and she's very, very gifted at that, and uh, she likes books like me, and she just likes, I don't know, I mean, she likes it almost anything, and, yeah, I, I just, I just, I just, I just love that about her. And, um, this is the only book I have, and Tower of Dawn over here, these two are the only books I have of Sergio Mass, of the, on the glass series so yeah that'll be yeah these books are freaking long but they're worth it and i highly highly recommend anybody to read the thor glass series just read the disaster play first before reading the thorn glass i mean or vice versa i don't know <laughs> uh yeah so that will be it for this video, and thank you, and thank you for watching. Um, this is the end of this video. And I'll be seeing you guys soon with another video, maybe soon or later or something like that. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.